everyone. It is Sunday, August 5th, 2018, and it's time to get a workout. Um, it's been a great day, been a really good place, and excited for productive session as usual. I'm gonna hit some online classes here, update you guys with what's going on on that front, going to hit a light drum practice, share my progress, and then gonna dive into the production front, do some mastering. Um, definitely confronting some challenges elsewhere in my life outside the musical spectrum, and uh, just doing my best to handle those gracefully, and hopefully this music session really like helps me emote and uh, just get to a good groove. So let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go. I'll update you guys at the end with what I accomplish. Let's do it. I want this to go after, so we have like we have the build up, we have the drums, and then we have a little insert here, and then this needs to be like da -da 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 -da. so it needs to be short, powerful, short, big, yeah. with a low, with a lot of lows. So this could be the wrist that we do the drop with. Also, when you're trying to punch in just tiny little sections like this, sometimes it can be easier if we just kind of go away from the rest of the song just to the click, so I'm just going to run the click and I'm just going to, I know I need those four chugs, da -da -da -da. so I'm going to get Chuck to just play that with the click over and over again until we get a really good one, and then we'll just fly that into the whole living unit. to the Armin van Buren class, and again, my takeaway today was just how much they use the computer. They really use the computer just to do all the technical elements of the music, like the um, staying in, in key, staying in tune, uh, playing in time, you know, quantizing everything. Everything's pitch perfect every time, and then they're just like the conductor, like the composer. They can just move things around and hear how it sounds, instantly react to it, and it's very much like uh, delegating all the like instrumental performance aspects of it, and really just taking control of like the emotional content of it, and it's not hard to see why electronic music has proliferated. You know, just that type of stuff makes the barrier for entry for making great music so much lower, and these guys are just masters of the... the um, the genre and the process and the tools that are involved with it, so it's really cool to see. Um, similar takeaway from the hardcore tracking class, just how much they use the computer to edit things, copy paste things, move parts around, stuff like that, and I'm really starting to realize like how much modern music is just all about the computer and just changing things to make them perfect every single time, um, and just making life easier, you know, for tracking, and I guess that's just the way the world has changed now, it's just digital technology makes, you know, getting higher leverage results easier, faster, etc., and so that's why everyone's using it, so it's definitely a lot for me to think about and, and kind of meditate on and decide how I'm going to interact with that personally. Um, I think I'll just experiment and, you know, see what fits. Then I got into doing some master, oh, quick, quick drum practice, nothing special there, just um, maintenance practice, really. And uh, then jumped into uh, working on the Midas and Myth Master. I couldn't help but feel last night listening to that that it was missing something compared to the Into Infinity one, like missing some ambience, and I think just because that track is just more dry in general. Um, so I played around with adding some distortion to different frequency bands and just trying to spice it up, um, increasing the character of the limiter, which kind of changes the sound and makes it like a little, I don't know, just adds like a certain sort of sheen on top of it to kind of smooth things out a little bit and uh, I'll keep playing around with it and just try out different things and see if I can get it to have a little just extra magic in between the notes you know um, then got into the strictly academic master definitely was not happy with where I was on that yesterday so got in and just started moving a lot of things around and did some work and started finally getting to a place where I was a little more excited by it near the end and I think it's just gonna take time guys to really like take this stuff and make it the way I want it to be and so I'm just gonna relax and commit to the process and just you know make it happen so that's where I'm at today appreciate you guys for tuning in hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals enjoying the process that's what I'm out here doing and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more can't wait